You are listening to the Boss Experience Podcast, a podcast with conversations about business growth, self-development, and maintaining a mindset to achieve business success. My name is Michelle Davis, and I am a business strategist and coach, and I am your host. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. My name is Michelle Davis, and I'm your host. And in this episode, I want to talk about five untapped marketing strategies you can start using in your business today. Business success requires planning, strategy, and a whole lot of confidence. You have to believe success is possible for you. That's why I'm gifting you 30 free affirmations to hang around your house, to display in the office, or even use as journal prompts. You see, infusing your mind with positivity allows you to erase self-doubt, increase your confidence, and ditch the fears that come along with starting a business. So it's time to allow your mind to reflect the business and the future you desire. All you have to do is visit BossLadyAffirmations.com to grab your free affirmations today. Now back to the episode. So the reason that I say that there these five strategies are untapped is because people don't talk about them as much as they should because these are effective marketing strategies that you know you can get started, you can use today, you can get clients through it. So before we get into those five untapped resources, there's a few things I want to just say. First is for any business marketing, you need a strategy. So you need to map out a strategy for your business. And I talk about this in my Boss Business Planner. So if you haven't grabbed it yet, you can go to bossbusinessplanner.com and grab it. But I talk about the difference between your long-term and your short-term strategies when it comes to marketing. So I think the biggest problem I probably see with new entrepreneurs is that they don't have a strategy and they don't have a plan for their marketing activity. So they think that their marketing activity is, you know, posting on social media every day. And, you know, and then when it doesn't work, they're like, oh, you know, I'm doing everything. I'm doing lives. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But you need a strategy. And you also will hear online that you need to just do one thing. My thing with that is, is when you're working with new entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs don't know their options yet. And so uh, that that is why with my programs, my coaching programs and anything that I write and produce, but I always share more than one option. I always say that here are marketing options because people need to know and try different things before they decide what is going to work best for them. Because people are entering the entrepreneurship space with different budgets. They're entering the entrepreneurship space with different needs, you know, for their business. And marketing is not one size fits all. And rarely do I come across any content that actually promotes that people have an actual strategy. It's part of what I help my clients uh, create in CEO Blueprint Academy. And it's part of what I talk about in the boss business planner. In terms of, you know, looking at what your marketing options are when you're starting out, you want to look at a variety of different options. So you know what works best for your business. Every business is not one size fits all. Can any business use paid ads? Absolutely. And get traction? Absolutely. But you have to know what you're doing. You may have to put forth a lot of time learning the platform, you know, the back end of, you know, if you're going to do Facebook ads and then Facebook ads isn't the only paid ad advertising either. So, you know, paid ads will be one of the things that I mentioned as your marketing options and things you want to consider, but you want to work up to that, you know, and and if you have a budget for it, go for it, go for it, hire someone to help you. But if you don't, The strategies I'm going to give you today are options you can try in your business because I know I was frustrated when I first started and all people would tell me is I have to run ads and I ran ads and I ran ads and I lost a lot of money because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And the strategies and what they were showing me how to do was just like flushing money down the toilet. So 
that is why I think this episode is is really you definitely want to download it and listen to it again because you want to you know use these untapped strategies. So let's talk about the first untapped strategy, which is podcast advertising. Well, what is that? Remember, I told you there's more than one type of advertising that, or paid ad advertising that you could do. Podcast advertising is one of those options. So with podcast advertising, you can have an ad appear on a podcast episode. And when people listen to the episode, they will hear your ad. And of course, you would include in the ad a summary of what you do or what the ad is about, you know, what is the service you're advertising. And I always suggest a custom domain, something simple for people to to remember, because when people are listening to podcasts, they're working out, they're walking, you know, jogging, they're doing different things and are not necessarily, you know, 100% tuned in. So you want something easy for them to remember so that when they're able to do so, they can write down your website and then you have a call to action for what you want them to do. So that is podcast ads. You can start with podcasts like the the Boss Experience podcast. So all you would have to do is reach out to me at michelle at marketinggymsolutions.com. Michelle at marketinggymsolutions.com. And I'll leave the contact information in the podcast show notes so that you can find it later. But podcast advertising, very effective. Did you know that more than half of Americans have listened to a podcast episode at least once? So if you have a product or service that needs to reach an online audience, advertising on a podcast like The Boss Experience is a great way to get in front of your ideal customer. When you secure an advertising slot on an episode, The Boss Experience podcast listeners get to hear about your business every time someone tunes into that episode. So what are you waiting for? Visit bit.ly forward slash podcast episode sponsor to get started. Now back to the episode. So the second untapped strategy I want to share with you is podcast guest appearances. So what that is, is exactly the way it sounds. It's being a guest on someone's podcast. As a podcast host, I'm not just showcasing my podcast episode to my audience, but for the guests, it's exposure for them as well, but they are also showcasing me to their audience. So it's a win-win when you are a guest on someone's podcast and you know, you, you both get to share each other's audiences and you both get to, you know, meet people that you wouldn't have come across had you not been a guest on that podcast. And you get to talk about whatever it is that you're promoting. So you have to have something, you know, specific that you want to sell on the podcast. And you don't want to run out and be on any podcast. What you want to do is think about who is it you're trying to target for your business? Who is your perfect ideal client? Who is your target audience? And then you want to then go out and approach podcast hosts that have a podcast that aligns with that audience, not direct competitors, but podcast guests that align with that audience. So let's say you're a a, a tax professional and you're looking to attract entrepreneurs as clients. So you wouldn't go on another tax professional podcast show to attract your clients, but you would think, okay, so what other services would entrepreneurs be seeking out. And then I can then come on and add some value on a podcast and share information about my company. Hmm, Maybe a podcast about business, maybe a podcast about marketing. So that's what I, I mean when I say podcasts that aligns with your business. That's what you'd want to do. So that's podcast guests. Okay. The third untapped marketing strategy I want to just share with you is the Google business profile. So a lot of online entrepreneurs think that they can't tap into the Google business profile because they're online and you're just missing out on an opportunity to get more traffic to your website. So the way the Google business profile works is you contact Google, you set up the, or you go into, you have to have a Google account. You go into your Google account, 
you set up your Google business profile, but the profile doesn't become active until you actually uh, request the postcard to verify your identity. It has to come to your home. So it can't come to PO box or anything like that. And you can, you don't, if you work from home or you have a home-based business, you don't have to list your business on the Google business profile. You can actually hide your address. So if you're online, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But the the wonderful thing about Google business profile is that anytime anyone searches for what you sell or a type of business that you operate, you can pop up and you show up on maps. So you can show up for your local customers, but you can also show up for people that are just searching in general online. And the key thing is optimizing your Google business profile so that people can actually uh, find you. And you get an email uh, every month telling you how many people found you through Google business profile. And you can create posts, you could run off, you could post your offers, you can post videos, and you can really showcase your business using a Google business profile. So anytime someone finds you through maps, or they find you through a general Google search, you know, you have an opportunity to pop up there. So that is the Google business profile, another untapped marketing strategy. So the next untapped marketing strategy I want to share with you is the guest blog posting or being a guest writer. So the same concept for being a guest writer on someone else's blog or whatever it is that they're, whatever piece they're writing, this is the same concept as being a guest on someone's podcast, right? You get exposure to this other audience. So the one thing you want to do is always be visible and and you want to be searchable and you want people to be able to find you. And so, you know, there's some wonderful ways for you to do that by being on someone else's blog. And it's not just blogs. It could be someone else's uh, magazine. It could be you know, something that they're writing on on some online platform. And you may be wondering, well, how do I find these opportunities? Well, there's a couple of free resources you can use. And when you sign on to these resources, you actually uh, get emails and you just got to, you know, be diligent. There's one where it comes out every day, twice a day. And then there's one that comes out, I believe once a day as well, once a day, or maybe once every other day. But when you read um, through these opportunities and you have to, you know, kind of respond quickly because there are deadlines, you have an opportunity to get your business featured in this article if they select you. So, you know, anytime you reach out to, you know, anyone, whether, whether you're reaching out to a person directly or you use one of the resources I'm about to give you, you're basically requesting an opportunity. OK, so it's not a, a 100 percent done deal. So you have to keep that in mind when you're reaching out because you may have to do 10 reach outs before you get a response back. But when you do get a response back and you actually get the get accepted to be featured in the article, you can use that. You can put it on your website. You can share it with your email list. You can talk about it on social media because, you know, part of what you want to do on your end, too, is when the article comes out that you reciprocate, you know, their feature by posting it on your social media and letting people know about that particular source as well. You can do a lot with it. And if you don't get selected, you know, and you wrote some content or you responded, you know, uh, to some content, you just keep trying, just keep trying. The two opportunities I want to share with you are both free. And the first one is quoted, Q-W-O-T-E-D. And the second one is HARO, which stands for help a reporter out. So both of these resources will give you kind of a sense of where to guest post or where to feature your business. And basically what it is, is they'll say, well, we're looking for experts in, you know, to speak about X, Y, Z. And so if that's your expertise, then you would respond and you would follow the requirements. And of course there's deadlines associated with it. It's not something you can decide that you're going to come back to a week later or two weeks from from now and still have that opportunity. So you have to, you know, take action. You have to respond pretty quickly. And it can get a little time consuming. We had a system where posts come out 
you know, twice a day for Haro and maybe once a day for Quoted. Just set aside some time at the end of the day to scroll through, identify opportunities and, and write, you know, maybe the next day, maybe the next day you're responding so that you have a chance to get your business featured. So that is getting, you know, guest blogging and getting your business featured in publications or blogs. Okay, the fifth and final untapped marketing strategy I want to share with you is email marketing. So the good thing about email is your list is your list. So a lot of people, you know, they they rely on social media, but you have to have a strategy to get people off of social media into your email list so that you can control the communication with them. Because it, let's say that your account gets shut down today, you lose all of your followers and you lose connection with them. And you may even be out of business if that's all you're relying on. But if you create a strategy, create an email list, you move people off of social media into an email list that you can control and you can communicate to them whenever you want. So, and this is kind of like, um, you know, the same for SMS text messaging as well. So SMS text messaging is, you know, there's different ways to set that up. In addition to, you know, email marketing, you can reach out to people through text as well. So in the way, in the way to do that is to give something of value so that people are willing to you know, give you their email address and consent to receiving ongoing marketing. That's regardless of whether it's email marketing or SMS text message marketing. And basically, you know, with email marketing and SMS text marketing, you can communicate your sales, you can communicate, you know, promos, but you also want to communicate value. You want people to have a reason to tune into you besides seeing the next thing you're going to sell them. Use the email list and the SMS text messaging service to build your your community, to build an audience of engaged followers. And, you know, when you have an email list, you have an alternative way of connecting with people that are interested in hearing what you have to say. It wouldn't matter, you know, when Instagram and Facebook goes down for a day, because guess what? You're going to have other ways to communicate to your audience besides relying on platforms that you don't own. So let's do a recap of everything I shared with you today. So I shared, you know, five untapped marketing strategies and those untapped marketing strategies that I shared with you today are podcast advertising, being a podcast guest, Google business profile, guest blogging or being a guest writer in a publication and email marketing. Now, obviously, there are others as well, and I can't cover them all in one single episode, but I gave you five to get started. And so, you know, in in my boss business planner, I talk about how to establish long-term, short-term and long-term strategies for business marketing purposes, because what tends to happen is people are just kind of, you know, running around trying to market and trying to promote their business. And they don't have a strategy attached to their promotional work. So it ends up not yielding the results that they want to yield. So in my boss business planner, I talk about, you know, the importance of understanding the different marketing strategies and seeing how you're going to apply these to your business. And one of the key things I talk about is, you know, knowing the frequency that you're going to do something. So not just having the strategy, but knowing the frequency. So obviously in my boss business planner, I identify more untapped marketing strategies, but um, the key is, you know, whether you buy the boss business planner or not, that you come up with a strategy for your marketing and that strategy can't be, I'm going to post on social media. It's a little bit more detailed than that. So if you want to grab my boss business planner, you can grab it at boss business planner. Dot com is available as uh, in hard form or paperback and also as a digital copy. So with that being said, that concludes this episode. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I want to invite you back 
to tune in to a future episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a review. And I hope to connect with you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. Are you trying to handle the challenges of life on your own? With Legal Shield, you don't have to. For more than 30 years, people have trusted Legal Shield to help them navigate messy divorces, challenge traffic tickets, prepare a will, buy a house, and even start a business. For just a small monthly fee, you have a dedicated law firm by your side with real attorneys standing by to advise and guide you through all of the things you never expected to happen. Visit PhenomenalBoss.com to sign up today. Thank you for tuning in to the Boss Experience Podcast. Don't forget to leave a review for this episode and tune in next time.